Good morning, I'm Tom Spellman with Dave Wilson Nursery. This morning we're out at Zagers in Modesto, and Zagers are world-renowned hybridizers of stone fruit varieties. So this is a, a, a weekly event that happens every Wednesday through fruiting season, and we're gonna go out and walk the orchard a little bit, and we're gonna try new experimental varieties. Peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, interspecific hybrids between plum and apricot and nectarine and plum and all kinds of wonderful varieties. I have the cream of the crop list here. This is today's Bible. This is the guide to the orchard that tells us what's ripe, what's worth eating, trees that we're gonna stop by and evaluate for size, for color, for flavor, for all the wonderful attributes that make a good piece of marketable fruit. David, how you doing? Okay, good to see you. Nice to see you. It's a nice looking piece of fruit. Not enough crop for commercial. No, but nice for home but garden. How's it taste? If it eats really well, it'd be very nice for home garden. One of the new hybrids between plum and cherry. Exquisite piece of fruit. Come on, we're heading back to the carts to try out some other varieties in different parts of the orchard. We're out in one of the apricot slash aprium blocks. Those are uh, either straight apricot varieties or crosses between apricot and plum. These are some new varieties that are being tested for both the commercial market and the home garden market. It's middle of July. Look at the size of these fruit. Look at the beautiful color. What a phenomenal variety. Anybody else? Which one we are? This one? Yes. Wonderful. What was the bricks on that one? That's 16 average. Got a 17 and a 15. And of course, you got to, you know, skew up my writing because this is 18 4. I got it off the tree next to it. This is Dennis Terry. He's our CEO at Dave Wilson Nursery. Also an independent fruit grower on the side and just a heck of a nice guy. This is Katie. She's a new introduction to our Dave Wilson Nursery staff. She's marketing and communications manager. This is her third trip to Zagers and we're teaching her the wonderful world of eating fresh fruit. This is Julian from Darnot Nursery in France. He's a um, Zager affiliate in Europe. Hmm? Good success in, uh, in this variety. Audience right away, but if they do well, they'll, they'll enjoy it and they'll continue on. This week's group, like almost every week, is a, is a mixed group of people from the fruit industry and nursery industry, people from all over the world. There can be people here from Australia, Spain, South Africa, South and Central America, as well as growers throughout the San Joaquin Valley and southwestern United States. Nice. That has some, some actual aroma. That's a nectar plum. Nectar plum. Those are great. I mean, I love the um, this, this uh, spicy. Yeah. So what's the, this is that's a number. That's variety? a different number. Yeah. Yeah. Variety, yeah. This is our friend David Carp. He's a pomologist and a independent writer. The writer formerly known as the fruit detective. David's going to tell us what's going on in his world. I read a weekly column on produce for the Los Angeles Times. I'm here because I try to keep up with the Zagers by visiting, if not every year, at least every other year. Lise told me a couple of years ago that mid-July would be a good season to taste the new cherry plum hybrids that they're working on, so I made sure to do that. And uh, seeing what's new, like this nectar plum, which is a, a nectarine plum hybrid. Um, it's one of my favorite fruits that I've tasted so far on the walkthrough. Um, you bite into it. And I'm just eating it. It's delicious. It's sweet, but also has some distinctive aroma. This is Robert Woolley, president of Dave Wilson Nursery and a real fruit enthusiast. <laughs> Glad to meet you. This is Janelle Bacher. She's with Adams County Nursery in Pennsylvania. They're kind of a sister company to Dave Wilson Nursery. We do a lot of the same things they do on the East Coast, we do on the West Coast. This is Stacy Anderson. She's one of our commercial sales reps that works throughout the San Joaquin Valley selling to commercial growers and farmers. She's out here. One of her responsibilities is to try out new fresh varieties and uh, make sure that she's representing the industry well and promoting the newest and best varieties to her customers. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh, I'm sorry. We need a brick. I need a brick. Mm -hmm. Brick. Thank you. Oh, I want to My first brick's a 16-2. 16-2 and a brick. Well, that was the first one. I'm getting the second bricks now for an average. Not bad. 17, so about 16 and a half average. I got, uh, Kate. This is Leith Gardner. She's uh, Floyd Zager's daughter. She's general manager here at Zager's, and she's working with the tour today and checking all the bricks levels on the on the fruit varieties that we're trying out. Let's check this one out, Leith. This is a new picotum variety. Oh, juice on there for me. And they have these machines. I'm more at 17 bricks on the sample that you have. Pretty tasty. Tell us what bricks are, Leith. Brix is a measure, a way to measure the amount of sugar in the fruit. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to go find the man, Floyd Zager, the father of everything going on here, the originator of Zager hybrids, the father of the Pluot, the father of the Aprium, nectar plums, cherry plums, varieties you won't believe. He's busy, he's running around the orchard, he's out here all the time. We're going to go pull him aside and get him introduced. This is the man. This is Floyd Zager. He is the father of the Pluot, the father of the Aprium, the originator of Zager hybrids. Floyd, tell us what's new and exciting. What are you working on today? Well, I've got a group of people that are trying to get through the field. <laughs> He's a busy man. We're not going to get much time with him, but I just have to say thanks for in involving me in this. I really love the opportunity to be able to come out here and walk the field with you. Well, and we're, we're glad to have you because now you can tell the rest of them really what you Oh, yeah. We'll get the word out. For, for a fruit enthusiast like myself, a trip to Zager's on Wednesday is like a trip to Disneyland. It doesn't get any better than this.